Friday, December 28, 2012, 1550. Good afternoon, dear Jesus. Well, as you must be very well aware, there is a great sense of disappointment, not to mention anger, because nothing of note seems to have happened that could be described as the start of a new age or an awakening into full consciousness. I, too, was disappointed there were, we understood, to be no disappointments. So, where do we go from here? Are we all just accessing a collective illusory consciousness dreamed up by wishful thinkers, who are very disillusioned with life on earth, and hoping for something better, or what? Please offer something to inspire and uplift us, if that can be done from the spiritual realms, after the letdown that we have experienced. I am sure that many feel betrayed their hopes were very high, and then they were dashed. What happens now? Back to the familiar grind, focus on the illusion, and all its sufferings? Anyhow, I have said more than enough, so please dictate, and help me to relax and allow your words to flow into my mind. Well John, you have spelt it out pretty clearly, so allow me to respond. There was an enormous energy shift between December 12th, 12 and December 21st, 12. It had been building towards this period of intense activity for many years, and it happened precisely as planned and on schedule. Many were aware of the energy shift even if they were disappointed by the lack of evidence on the physical plane. Everyone on Earth has been momentously affected by it, but because your physical bodies are quite delicate, it is being activated within each one of you at differing speeds to align with your personal coping abilities. Great changes are occurring all across the world, and will shortly become apparent. Your duty, your task as light holders and way showers is to continue doing just that. Allow plenty of time daily for meditation, and ask and intend to get a real sense of that light so that your faith is re-established and fortified. Humanity will awaken because it intends to do so, and that ensures its inevitability. You chose to be on Earth in the vanguard of the awakening process knowing full well what was involved. Despite your lack of a complete memory of the commitment that you made, you do have an awareness, a sense of responsibility that you are here on Earth with a very important role to play in this amazing process. Ask for help, assurance, and guidance when you meditate, and you will receive it. To meditate is even more essential now as the new energies unfold within you because it will enable you to gain uplifting glimpses of what lies ahead for humanity and for the beautiful planet that supports your physical existence. It is illusory, but you have chosen to experience it as very real, and as long as you choose to continue doing so she will be there to support you in the story you have collectively assembled. Pause 1635 Tuesday, January 1, 2013, 1150 well, dear Jesus, that is all very well, but we still feel very let down, in fact dishonored by the fact that we are still entangled in our crushing 3D environment, with no end in sight. It seems that what we were promised was illusory, and that what we continue to experience is far more real with all its attendant pain, suffering, and anxiety. I have always believed that life would improve immeasurably, wonderfully after I lay down my physical body in human death the many stories of people's near-death experiences are very convincing and uplifting on that subject. However, from what you and Saul have been telling me over the years, I had come to believe that a new age of peace, joy, and abundance on earth for all was to come into being very soon. A kind of step up from the horrors of the illusion into a loving environment that would lead us inevitably home, into the eternal peace and presence, of our Father. It now seems that that is not the case. So have we I, and all those who channel beings from the spiritual realms, or those who read what has been channeled and share just been fooling ourselves. I do not believe that those in the spiritual realms would intentionally mislead us, I believe they love us, and sincerely want to help us, but maybe there is just no way, that our vastly differing realms can meet, and interact. Are we in fact going to have to wait until we lay down our physical bodies before we can experience the intense and permanent joy that various saints and mystics have told us is God's will for us? To have to wait until we lay down our bodies in physical death is a very unappealing thought as the numbers of humans living in unconscionable poverty continue to grow and about which it seems very little can be done despite the well-meaning intentions and actions of many concerned individuals and charities. The future looks very grim for many who had hoped to awaken into that new age. 
Our human history is full of stories of expected improvements to our living conditions that never materialized. It seems that this hoped for new age was just another of those stories. Pause 1255 to 1355. Well, John, you are certainly feeling down. Our intent has always been to uplift and inspire you, and in that we have succeeded. Your disappointment is quite understandable because we had raised your hopes and expectations very high and then you experienced no wonders, no fulfillment of those high expectations. Nevertheless, your spiritual energies have been strengthened enormously and these will carry you forwards as the new age, which you have most definitely entered, develops, intensifies and enfolds all in its loving embrace. Humanity is awakening. To be awake is to be aware and a great awareness of the need to treat one another with love, compassion, respect, and acceptance has emerged on earth over the last five or six decades. There are still many on earth who do not honor this basic human right, but that is changing very rapidly because of the intensity of the divine field of love enveloping the world. Remember, love is gentle but it is also extremely powerful and will not be denied. Humanity has for a very long time hidden from love, refusing to engage with it. That has now changed and it is sweeping in everywhere, affecting all relationships, and as you have been told before, love changes everything. Continue to be loving in every situation, do not attack or build defenses because that blinds you to the love that has enveloped you. Love is the way of God, the way of heaven, the way of all in the spiritual realms, and therefore it is your way. You must trust it and persist with it and then you will clearly see your way home. You know in your hearts that nothing else makes any sense, and you can see that wherever love is dismissed conflict ensues always. Although you have no immediate sense of the new age that you have become a part of, it has arrived, and you will begin to experience its benefits. Pray and meditate with strong intent and allow the love that enfolds you to sweep away anything that is not in alignment with it. That is what you truly desire, and you are bringing it into being. Your loving brother, Jesus. January 1st, 2012, 1450.